Namaste students. Good morning all of you. How are you? I am fine. What about you? I hope you are also fine. Okay, let's come to our business. The sentence pattern. So sentence pattern. What is sentence pattern? Yeah, you are right. Sentence pattern is nothing but the classification of words in a sentence based on their function, not meaning, based on their function. Okay? So the components of sentence patterns, there are five components in basic subject, the doer of the action, the head word, verb is the action word, it denotes three things, pos, position, action and state of being. The third one, yeah, object, object, the receiver of the action in active, okay, receiver of the action. It can be divided into two, direct object and indirect object, okay, direct object answers the question what or which, indirect object answers the question who, okay. Then, the complement part. Complement is, what is complement? Yeah, you are right. Complement gives complete sense to the sentence. Sense means meaning. So, complement gives a complete meaning to the sentence. Okay. It usually follows the verbs of be form and become elect, select, paint and name in such verbs. Okay. Last one. Adjunct. Adjunct is an additional part to a sentence. Adjunct is an additional part to a sentence. With or without the part of adjunct, the base meaning will not be changed. Okay, there is no problem for the base meaning of the sentence because of the adjunct part. Okay, so adjunct part answers four questions. First one, when. It refers to the time. Second one, where, it refers to the place. Third one, how, it refers to the manner. And fourth one, why, it refers to the, why, it refers to the reason. Okay. So here we are to answer these questions. Okay. Shall we begin? So first one, look at this. Ram lives in Mumbai. Ram lives in Mumbai. Okay. So who is the doer? What is the head word of this sentence? Ram. Because about this person only we are speaking. Okay. About this person only other parts of the sentence describe. Okay. So, Ram is the doer of the action, the head word. So, it is called subject. Okay. Next, what is the action? Lives. Okay. What action is he doing? Lives. Okay. The third one, in Mumbai. In Mumbai. Mumbai is a place, but here in Mumbai, it means the place where he lives. The question is where. Okay. So Mumbai answers the question where. So this is called adjunct. Adjunct. Okay. Adjunct part can or cannot be in a sentence. No problem. Okay, next sentence. Modi is our Prime Minister. Modi is our Prime Minister. So, Modi subject is verb. As I said earlier, it's a B form verb. So, usually the complement part follows the B form verb. So, without the complement part, we cannot get the complete sense of the sentence. So, here, Modi is, the sentence is incomplete. Okay. So, to complete the sense of the sentence, we have to add this phrase, our Prime Minister. Our 
prime minister so this is complement complement gives complete sense to the sentence okay look at the third sentence gopi helps a stray dog gopi helps a stray dog gopi is the doer so subject what action helps it's a verb a stray dog to whom go begins a stray dog so whom is the answer we can say it is an indirect object but we don't have another object in the sentence if we have one more object in a sentence we can classify them as direct or indirect object but we have only one object in the sentence so we need not worry about direct or indirect just use object okay so gopi is subject helps verb as stray dog object okay look at the fourth sentence i watched a film in theater okay usually we have to watch the films on theater only okay so now it becomes a very familiar in ott platform okay look at the sentence i watched a film in theater so do you know the action i subject action is watch verb what did i watch the film so it is object where did i watch is at the theater okay it answers the question where it answers the question what okay what denotes the object where denotes the adjunct clear okay shall we revise these four sentences again yeah look at this ram lives in mumbai ram is the doer of the action and head word of the sentence okay second lives the action committed by ram lives okay where he lives the answer is in mumbai so the question which answers the word which answers the question where is an action so mumbai becomes the action part next modi is the doer of the action and the head word of the sentence so it is a subject the action is be form verb here okay the state of being so verb okay our prime minister our prime minister is the complement part because if we remove this part we cannot get the complete sense of the sentence so our prime minister is complement next the third sentence look at this gopi helps a stray dog gopi is the doer of the action helps is the action so it is a verb okay gopi is subject helps is a verb a stray dog the receiver of the action gopi does the action the stray dog receives the action so receiver of the action is object okay the fourth sentence i was a film in theater okay i is the doer watch the verb a film answers the question what so it is an object in theater it is the place where he watched which mean i watched so where is that question for this word so it is an object okay so look at the fifth sentence fifth sentence sachin discovered a new technique sachin discovered a new technique i give you a clue another clue if you want to know if you want to know the subject if you want to identify the subject very easily you can ask the question who because the doer is always answered for the question who so who discovered sachin so it's a subject simple what is the action committed discovered so it's a verb okay what did sachin discover a new technique so the phrase is object why should i use the word phrase 
because the collection of words, one, two, three, okay, collection of the words are called a phrase because it does not have a complete sense, complete meaningless. It has a meaning, but the meaning is incomplete. There is no subject and there is no verb. It's just three words, combination of words only. That's why I call them phrase, phrases. Okay. Sachin is the doer and the head word subject. Discover is the action, so it is a verb. A new technique is receive the action. Okay. That is why it is yeah, it is an object. Okay, very good. Next sixth one. My friend visited me on my birthday. My friend visited me on my birthday. My friend is the doer of the action. The head word. So it is a subject. Okay. What is the action? Yeah. Visited. It's the action. Okay. Who is visited? Me. I didn't ask who visited. Who is visited? Okay. My friend visited whom? Me. So whom is the question for this word? So it is an object because we don't have any other object in the sentence. Okay. If I use whom, it should be an indirect object. But we don't have another object in the sentence. So only one object, so I use object. Okay. When he visited me on my birthday, the time refers, so it is an adjunct. It is an adjunct. Okay. Seven sentence. Because this Satya speaks politely. Okay. Satya subject speaks. So what does she do? Yeah, speak. So speaks is verb. How she speaks? Politely. Okay. The manner in which she speaks is politely. So it is an adjunct. Okay. Adjunct part. Do you understand? So politely refers to the manner. Usually the manner words ends with ly. Okay, politely, harshly, spontaneously, melodiously, likewise. So, S V A. Eighth sentence. Darshan scores Kavinaya for mall practice. Darshan scores Kavinaya for mall practice. Look at this. Doer of the action is Darshan, subject. What is the action committed? Scores. Verb. Whom does he score? Kavinaya. So it is the object. The reason for the scolding. Okay, reason for the action. It is an adjunct. Why? Why he scores? You have to ask the question to the verb. Why he scores? For malpractice. So it is the reason. Okay, it answers the question why. So it is adjunct. Look at the ninth sentence. Saran and Mangila are cousins. Okay. Saran and Mahilan. Okay. These two words are conjoined with a coordinate conjunction that is and. So whenever you have and at the beginning, you should add these two words as a subject. So it is the subject. Okay. Or the state of being. So it's a verb. The cousins. So without these words, these words are meaningless, incomplete. So this is complement. This is complement. The complement for complete the sense of the sentence. It gives the complete sense to the sentence. Complete meaning. So this is complement. Okay. Next step. Look at the tenth sentence. You learn sentence pattern today. As we do. You learn the sentence pattern today. You 
subject passion learn sentence pattern in object okay what do you learn sentence pattern so it is object when do you learn today so when is a question to be answered so it is an answer for do you understand so you subject learn verb sentence pattern object and today is adjunct so why do we be learn sentence pattern what is the reason because you will have active and passive voice active voice and passive voice so if you want to learn active and passive the basic of that topic is sentence pattern okay if you are not aware of sentence pattern you will not be able to <coughs> you will not be able to do active and passive okay i hope you could understand the sentences so if you want to copy just pause this video and copy okay thank you all of you then you are